Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. There's no shortage of them at the state house, and Wednesday, one came in the form of a bill. Question is, shall the emergency clause remain as part of the bill? A Christmas tree bill is the term used to describe a piece of legislation usually passed in lame duck. This one, SB 51, deals with shoring up Lake Erie. Since it's relatively innocuous and bipartisan, lawmakers use it as a base and decorate it with a bunch of other amendments that have nothing to do with the original legislation. This bill was rushed through, this amendment to this bill was rushed through 24 hours ago and fast-tracked to the House floor today. The additions to the bill include a $15 million capital appropriation for Blanchard River flood mitigation, $1 million to expand youth resiliency programs, and synchronizing the state definition of taxable year in regards to the net profits tax with the federal government and municipalities. Another element in this Christmas tree bill $20 million of taxpayer money will be allocated to renovate this state house garage where we are right now. Another $2 million will go towards improving the governor's mansion. One of the biggest expenditures of the bill, $15 million in taxpayer funds will go toward a new stadium for the Columbus crew. That amendment became somewhat of a white elephant in the room. First, I should say I'm not anti-Columbus crew. I feel like this bill is missing a lot of opportunities. Right now we have needs across the state. We have employment needs. We have, in my area of the state, we have people wondering where their next meal is going to come from. We have 14 people dying of overdoses every single day in our state. This bill doesn't hit the mark. The bill passed the House with many of those amendments still intact. Molly Martinez, Spectrum now. News. The clerk will take the roll. 91 affirmative votes, no negative votes. The Senate amendments are agreed to.